Welcome again. We are at the passage of Luke chapter 22, verses 54 through 62. Peter denies Jesus. Verse 54. They seized him and led him away. This is speaking about the arrest of Jesus. And brought him, that's Jesus, into the high priest's house. But Peter followed from a distance. When they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and had sat down together, Peter sat among them. A certain servant girl saw him as he sat in the light, and looking intently at him, said, This man also was with him. He denied Jesus, saying, Woman, I don't know him. After a little while, someone else saw him and said, You also are one of them. But Peter said, Man, I am not. After about one hour passed, another confidently affirmed, saying, Truly, this man also was with him, for he is a Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I don't know what you're talking about. Immediately, while he was still speaking, a rooster crowed. The Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the Lord's word, how he said to him, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and wept bitterly. Peter was always the kind of guy that would kind of jump into things. If you notice in the, in the scriptures, he was like the first one to the tomb. He was the first one to walk on water. He's the first one to speak up in the book of Acts. He had this quite this personality. But here he was a little bit too, what would you say? I mean, he, he denied Jesus. What can you say? So, uh, yeah, it, it's it's a sad situation here. Um you know, I'm sure that, uh, you know, many of you, as you read this, you, you feel the pain that Peter felt. So, yeah, we are going through the uh, passages of Scripture here, piece by piece. Right now, we are approaching the, uh, the uh, mocking and the scourging of Jesus and the crucifixion. So don't miss anything, okay? Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Make sure you check out the other teachings. Uh, we have dealt with a lot of things, and we're going to continue to talk about lots of stuff. It's never, it's never boring, I tell you. Uh, when you walk with God, you're never bored. Trust me. As you go, as you seek Him, may He, sh may he show you great and mighty things and give you revelation and knowledge beyond that of all your peers. In the name of Jesus, amen.